Hey everyone, Joe here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your windshield wipers in your car. Now before you go ahead and try to replace your windshield wipers, try giving them a good cleaning with soapy water or alcohol, and that might just solve your problems. But even after cleaning, if you still see skipping, streaking, splitting, or squeaking, then you probably need to replace your windshield wipers. So let's get started! The first thing to know is that each windshield wiper has their own size. Sometimes the size for the passenger and the driver's side are the same, and sometimes they are not. You can figure out the size of your windshield wipers by measuring the wiper from end to end on your car right now, or you can just go to Walmart or Target and they usually have a book or a computer that tells you what size wiper it is based on the information of your car. But the easiest thing to do is just to go to an auto parts store or a mechanic or a dealership, tell them what you have, and they'll just give you the right size right away. You could also try looking this information up in your car's owner manual, but for mine, all I got was information on how to replace the wipers, not the actual size. After you got yourself some windshield wipers, Pick the first one you want to work on, lift it up, and put a towel or a shirt underneath it. The reason for the towel is because once this wiper blade is off, this will be a bare metal arm, and if this accidentally came down and swung fast enough, it could damage your windshield, and that can cost you a lot of money. Follow your windshield wiper arm up until the metal meets the plastic blade piece. Sometimes you're going to see a little plastic flap here, sometimes you won't. Mine happens to have that. Just flip the tab open and rotate the windshield wiper. Underneath this part over here, you're gonna see a little tab. Pull that tab in towards you or towards the wiper arm and push this wiper downwards. As you just saw, it took a little bit of force to get it out, but as long as you push that tab up here and pull this tab down here and pull in this direction, you'll eventually get it out. And as you can see, for my car, this is kind of a hook-shaped wiper arm. This is the most common wiper you'll see for cars. If you look at the back of the box for your windshield wipers, you'll see that hook over here in the diagram. It kind of shows you how to take it out, but just follow my instructions and it should be pretty easy. The box also shows an illustration of another kind of wiper arm called the pin arm. It's a little different than the J-hook, but it's a lot easier in my opinion. Just follow the instructions and you should be able to do this. The last kind of wiper arm that I see is a bayonet arm on the back of my box. I've actually never seen these before, so I'm going to assume they're rarer. Just again, follow the back of the instructions of your box and you should be okay. If you can follow the hook instructions of this video, you will be able to do the bayonet arm and the pin arm with no problem at all. Now when you do unbox your wiper, you're going to see the connectors are already in here pre-installed. You don't need to replace it unless you have a bigger hook, the pin arm or the bayonet arm, and the adapter looks like this. If you have the smaller arm, which chances are you do, you can leave this pre-installed and you can continue with the installation. To put the blade back onto the wiper arm, it's the opposite process of taking it off. So get your wiper, get the clip right next to the part over here by the hook, gently line it up, get the plastic piece straight, and once it fits in there, just push it up that way and you should hear a click, and that means it's installed. But just to make sure, give it a good tug in both directions. And this guy's not moving for anything, so this is pretty secure to me. And that's it. So let's just take this towel out, put this wiper back down here, and we're gonna work on the other one. All right, let's do the passenger side. Sweet, new record. It's always a good idea after installation to clean your windshield wiper with some glass cleaner, especially underneath where the wipers sit, just to make them last longer, and just in case there are any kind of gravel or kind of sharp object that was destroying the other ones. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this helped you out at all for your windshield wiper installation or it showed you how easy it really is to change them, please consider giving the video a like. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll find that I release a video every week. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.